I'm here with Roborock, and we're going to check out the Rover, which is able to climb stairs. But first, let's look at some of their newest flagship models. They've got two new flagship models. One is the Saro 20 Sonic series. This has a vibrating style mop pad. And then you've got the Saros 20 series, which has a spinning style mop pad. And then if you really want a roller style mop pad, you've got the Q Revo Curve 2 Flow series. So they're calling this one just below flagship and also the Q Revo Edge 2 Pro. This is also just below flagship. One of the big features of the new Saros 20R is the adaptive lift chassis 3.0. You can see it's pretty high up in the air and it's gonna cross the carpet and it's gonna keep the mop pads just touch them a little bit there, but it's going to keep the mop pads basically away from the carpet is the idea. So it has a new uh, style of legs that is able to lift it a little bit higher. And it still has the same slim profile as before, which is 7.98 centimeters. So just under eight. It definitely gets under my stove and it definitely gets under this low obstacle here. So this also has a new stair climbing technology that is able to climb a higher height. This is more close to about three inches total, which is really going to be pretty much all that you need for your average household. So they're definitely making some strides here. Let's see how it's able to cross this. So you see the little cams come out and boom, it's able to get over with the little cams that are attached to uh, the wheels. I guess you can call them legs and there we go. But what they're also working on is a prototype they're calling the Saros 2.0 with automatic mop switching system. So you can see you've got three levels of mops. And this is a prototype right now. They're not sure if they're going to release it yet, but based upon uh, the feedback they get at the show on market sentiment, they may do it. So you can see that you can change the mop pads pretty quickly here. So let's say you've gone into the kitchen, you've done some mopping, and you're done, and you want to have a fresh set of mop pads. So you can come back to the base station, you can change the mop pads, and they're going to be dry. So you're going to be able to have the robot go out and mop a little bit quicker because it's going to be able to not only separate rooms but also give you a fresh mop pad every single time. So this is the Saros 20 Sonic and you can see that the Sonic mop is able to extend out to the side and get right up to the edge in terms of cleaning. Also it can leave that mop pad behind in the base station if you need to so first it's going to go out and clean the carpet but then when it comes back to the base station it's going to install the mop pad and be able to do your mopping. Roborock realizes that people want to use different styles of mops. People have different preferences. So we've got one with spinning style mop pads that extend out to the side and the flexi arm that extends out to the side too. This one's got a flexi arm, but it has the Viberize, I think it's called Viberize uh, mopping technology and it goes out to the side and you can actually feel it vibrating there too. And of course they have not been left behind with the roller style mop. So we do now have a roller style mop also, and I believe this actually has a cover, which it does have a cover here too. So this is pretty interesting. They're not committing to one style. They're saying, hey, there is a mop for everybody. This is the Roborock Rover. So this is their newest flagship that's not quite out yet. It's in development, but they do plan to release it sometime in the near future. What is unique about the Rover is that unlike the other manufacturers like Dreamy and Mova who have carriers that take the robots up and down the stairs, this has two independent legs that have sensors in them and it can essentially balance. Also, it's the only robot that's gonna be able to actually clean the stairs. So right now, it vacuums the stairs and they expect to add mopping capabilities in the near future and they're gonna bring it to market when they have perfected the mopping capability. And the number of people here that are filming this thing is absolutely insane. Roborock, of course, has the Saros Z70 that they have been working on and improving. I have found the software, at least in my home, to be much more effective than actually when it launched. And it's able to pick up socks and shoes and slippers and all kinds of things with pretty much 100% accuracy now. They're also introducing the Rockmo X1 LiDAR system, which is an all-wheel drive system to mow your lawn. Apparently this is going to be able to uh, better deal with the GPS issues that some of the older generations had. You can see it's actually able to navigate bumps in the yard pretty well too. And they have a unique suspension system here with their all-wheel drive system. So you can see that the wheels are able to pivot independently 
and that's going to give it the ability to get over obstacles in a, uh, I guess, a more fluid manner, you could say. They have what they call the Precision Edge Cutting Module, which is able to cut closer to the edge than any other competing robot, is what they say, only 1.2 inches. So they have a little demonstration here with a little bit of dirt where this uncut piece is quite small. And with the competitors, it's basically a hand width wide. So this is the Roborock F25 Ultra, and they say this is the industry's first wet and dry vacuum with both steam and water cleaning modes. Wow, so it'll actually do 180 degrees hot steam, and you can see they've got this color sensing uh, tape on the floor, so you can see the steam. So this is actually really, really interesting. So this is an evolution of the F25, 